Coach, first uh, talk about taking over out here with Denver City Football and, and AD and just, you know, overseeing athletics. I'm excited to be back in athletics. You know, uh, took a year and was a principal last year and really got to know all the kids, and, and that was a great experience. Um, but I'm excited to be back on the athletic side and uh, get to work with the football team and then, you know, watch all the uh, sports, volleyball, cross country, basketball, softball, baseball, track. You know, I'm excited to be back on the athletic side of it. And I would assume all these kids already knew you, so that that's a, a huge positive as you take over. Absolutely, you know, uh, getting to know them last year uh, by being the principal definitely helped. Uh, so now, you know, coming out here, uh, you know, we have a lot of new faces on the coaching staff, and uh, you know, being able to get to know them last year it makes a huge difference with those guys coming back this year and the new staff. But we're excited to get going and uh, see what we can do. What's the attitude of the kids coming into this year? The attitude, the attitude here is incredible, man. These kids know how to work. They're not scared to work, and they're tough kids. And, uh, you know, they got that tough West Texas, tough mentality, and we're just excited to get going. When do you think the strength of your team is going to be? Uh, you know, I think that uh, we have a bunch of uh, seniors coming back. we got a big junior class coming back. Um, you know, I think that uh, our kids, I think that we're going to be, you know, just the the work ethic uh, that they you know they come back with is incredible. Uh, we got a really good couple we got running backs coming back that are really good. We got some guys on the defensive side of the ball that are really good. Uh, we got some receivers that do a great job. Uh, you know, Jason Yanez played quite a bit as a as a junior at quarterback. He's coming back, uh, so we're excited to get going. Uh, can you talk about your non district schedule? Uh, the non-district, you know, it's uh, we're gonna be traveling a lot. You know, we got to go to uh, Dow Hart, to Borger. Uh, we have uh, three home games uh, in a row at home, which is great. Uh, we have Lubbock Roosevelt, then we have uh, Littlefield, uh, and then we have uh, Trinity Christian, and then we go to New Home, and then we have Seminole at home. Then we, uh, I think it's Borger, then Dow Hart, and then we have an off week, and then we start district. And what's your assessment of district? You know, we've got uh, Kermit, uh, Brownfield, and La Mesa in our district. And, uh, you know, those guys, they've got tough West Texas kids too. And, and they'll be prepared and they'll play hard. And those games will be tough. And, and, you know, it's our goal to win district and then make a run in the playoffs. And what are the goals this year for the Mustangs? You know, the goal is to be the best team, the most well-conditioned team, the most physical team with the most points every Friday night. And uh, can you just talk about this community? And uh, I know you've seen it, just the, the way they, they back athletics out here. Oh, the community's incredible. I mean, just look at these facilities that, you know, they help provide. It's incredible. You know, they get, they're behind our teams 100%. Uh, anything we need, you know, they work to provide it. And uh, it's just a great place to be.